Afternoon mga kaibigan, welcome to the Pro Gaming Series 2014 Magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng laban sa pagitan ng team Mido Jihab versus the team ng Wargan Strange Para sa ating Season Split Qualifier That's So kung right. sino yung mananalo dito, magpuproceed sila for the Season Split uh, Summer Season of the Pro Gaming Series this coming April 26 So mga kaibigan, for this for the North Zone area That's And right. bago lahat mga kaibigan, syempre magpapakalala muna ako I'm GG Sphere and I'm and with... I'm eto na uh, maya maya lamang magkakaroon tayo na mag start na ang ating game dito pero Jay ano yung mga expectation mo na possible na mangyari ngayon sa pagitan ng team Jihab versus team ng Wargan Sage doon hindi natin sila kilala ano yung mga expectation mo sa laban niya well definitely I expect maybe some surprise picks baka special composition definitely naghanda itong mga team nito kasi both of them want this spot and since there's only one slot for this they will definitely have to do their best to win this series I think what mga kaibigan this is the best of 3 matches for the team Jihab versus team ng Wargan Sage so Medyo matitindi ng laban to kailangan natin malaman talaga kung sino yung dapat mag-proceed for the season split this coming summer season ng Pro Gaming Series. Yes. Sa lahat ng dinakakala mga kaibigan, more information about the, uh, the upcoming uh, season split of Pro Gaming Series, pumunta lamang kayo sa esports.greeno.ph and doon lahat ng information na possible na malaman ninyo about the Pro Gaming Series. Also, malalaman nyo kung ano yung mga teams na mag-proceed uh, for the next season, I mean for the summer uh, split ng ating uh, I mean, summer season split ng ating uh, Pro Gaming Series. That's right. So, yun. Basically, these teams are gonna have to battle out. Whoever wins this will have the chance to fight dun sa PGS uh, ladder para masok sa PGS proper. So, meron pa tayong dalawang teams na hinihintay from the Rank Challenger teams. At uh, sa darating next week, this coming uh, Friday next week, magkakaroon tayo ng cut-off for the Challenger Tournament. At I mean, Challenger Rankings for sa ating uh, Rank Teams dito. Kung saan, yes. kung sino yung dalawang team na nasa top 2, sila yung mag-proceed for the Pro Gaming Series uh, Summer right. Season Speed next season. Pero ito na mga kaibigan. Game 1 na tayo ngayon. Let's see. For the banning phase, the team match, I uh, mean, match between team Wargod's Rage versus Timido Jihab. Alright. Alright, so on the left side, we'll have uh, Wargod's Rage and on the right side, we have the Mido Jihab. Right now, uh, we're in the banning phase and we can see here on the blue side, Pantheon has been banned including Syndra while Mido Jihab has decided to go with the Morgana ban. So far mga kaibigan, looking at the bands, Wargaz versus team ng uh, Mito Jihab, they banned Morgana. On the other hand, for team ng Rage, they banned Pantheon and Syndra. This kind of unusual, makikita natin ngayon na for the bands of Mito Jihab, I think they are somehow aware na possible na gamitin dito ng team Rage, ang, uh, I mean team ng Wargaz dito si Morgana para sa kanilang champion dito. Possible na gawin nilang mid, possible na gawin nilang support. But this most probably a champion that will go to the mid lane. Mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Hindi ako ganun ka I mean wala ako ganun alam information about him mm -hmm. but I think he is one of the challenger players as well for the as a solo queue natin dito sa ating League of Legends. So this kind of uh this is very interesting match up for team ng Mido G Hub. Shaxx as well is a challenger player. That's right. Kusan since that season she's uh, she's a mga challenger player dito. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, he is the mid player of Team Diamonds recently. Shaxx si Diamond Resil. Mm -hmm. So Mido G Hub for the mid lane Shaxx versus Hall of Fame. Magandang laban to. Alright, so we've already done with the banning phase. So it looks like the final bans will be Pantheon, Syndra, LeBlanc for Wargod's Rage, while Mido Jihab has for Ghana, Nidalee, and Kha'Zix. Alright, so it looks like a first pick will go for two the Wargods. They're hovering over Wukong, possibly pro uh, gonna be in the jungle if ever they do pick up that Wukong. I'm really excited to see what kind of compositions they'll be pulling out in this game. Tama, Jay. Sobrang uh, interesting yung laban ngayon ito ng War Against Verse Team ng Mido Jihab. We all know na so... That's right. Alright, so it looks like they do pick up the, the Wukong and that will be most likely in the jungle, possibly in the top lane. Of course, we see, we've see we seen it a few times before in the top lane. Uh, looks like Mido Jihab are gonna go for their probably their AD carry and support for the first pickup. Hovering over Lucian right now. Lucian being a very popular pick even in the uh, GPL and PGS. We've seen a lot of pro players picking up e even in the re recently concluded the uh, GPL finals. 
Uh, Garnet Devil loved to pick up that Lucian and he did yes. really really well with that Lucian. And we can see the mobility coming from Lucian and that passive of the double shot allows him to do a lot of damage. Actually having Lucian as your champion, the most important thing is when it comes to the late game, he's so effective. Niya. He can go against a Caitlyn, he can go against a Vayne, an SDL champion here, he's so dominating. Siya. Pero ang problema dito kay Lucian, sobrang nakakatamad siyang gamitin sa early game. Sobrang hina niya, hindi siya ganun ka-effective sa early game. Pero, once na makapag-farm siya dito, he got the Blood Thurster Blade of the Ruin. Yung item, depende sa kung ano yung gagamitin niya dito. Also, yung kanyang last twist for his item, sobrang maging effective siya dito. He can win any AD carries laban na to against the members of the Wargad. So, most probably, he will go for the Trinity Force. Well, that is a core item for... That is a core item for... Uh... For, for Lucian. Lucian and I think if ever na umuha siya ng uh, uh, Trinity Force as his item dito he, he can make sure na kaya nilang manalo sa bottom lane against kung sino man yung kanilang AD carry na kalaban dito mm -hmm. they pick up Vi para sa kanilang jungler ja uh, Vi being a jungle champion sobrang lakas nung kanyang damage output especially kapag tumama yung max charge nung kanyang vault breaker yes. kung saan sobrang Mahirapan dito ang tatamaan ng skills na yun. Actually, they did nerf uh, the Vault Breaker yes. of uh, V in terms of base damage, but the scaling has been increased to compensate. So, depending on how Mido or Job Jaja does build the, the V, if he goes for an attack type, his Vault Breaker will effectively be doing more damage. But if he goes for a full tank build, of course, the Vault Breaker won't be doing as much damage as before. But basically, picking up the V in their lineup means Mido Gob wants Jiha brother wants to go in and start fights. So ngayon mga kaibigan, looking at the lineup from uh, for team ng Wargas Rage, they pick up Wukong, Shivana, and Lulu. Three champions having the knock-up skills. Na they have the airborne skill dito. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that there's a high possibility na kunin nila si uh, Yasuo or Yasuo for sa para sa kanilang possible na mid-carry or for the top lane. But they have Lulu. Lulu can go for the support role. Lulu can go for the AP role dito. Who is a very effective champion. Kung saan he can do uh, she can dominate the top lane. I mean the mid lane. Also the, uh, the support role sa kanya. But uh, this is a very tricky pick up for their team. Possible kasi na kunin nila itong si uh, Lulu for the support. Na possible din na isipin nila. Na hindi, uh, possible kasi na isipin ng mid OGF na hindi na nila kukunin si Yasuo. Dahil meron na silang top, Shivana. Meron na silang mid lane na si Lulu. Pero let's see mga kaibigan, kinuha ng team ng Mido Jihab si Janna. I think one reason kung ba't kinuha ng si Janna ay para mabawasan na ng isa pang airborne skill for the members of the War Gods Rage. Mm -hmm. Alam mo Jay, sa lahat ng disabled dito sa League of Legends, ang pinakamahirap counter rin, actually ang walang pangontrang skill dito ay ang airborne, airborne skill. Yes, yung mga knock-up types. So basically, even uh, with Kulan uh, Tenacity, the, the length of the knockup always stays the same and as you can see a lot of knockup coming from war gods they've got the shivana the Lu wukong and it's gonna be combo with the wild growth coming from lulu to really isolate the targets looks like they may even pick up a blitzkrank with another knockup so it's gonna be yes. a very heavy knockup team coming from war gods rage if they decide to stick with that blitzkrank Pero right, so my big, i think there's no iso pick the 40 members of uh war gods rage knowing that they have they're trying to uh, pre-pick katin and blitzkrank Caitlyn Blitz on the bottom lane against Janna and Lucian. Do you think it's a suicide knowing na Janna can counter Blitzcrank? Janna can counter any champion na may pang gap closing ability, also yung may pang hatak like the the rocket grab, also yung kay Thresh, also yung death sentence niya. Once na they initiated the team fight, gagamitin lang dito ni Janna yung kanyang monsoon para mag disengage lahat ng team members from the Wargas Rage. Yes. Well, so, do you think it's a suicide lane for the bottom lane ng team mga wargods dito? I don't think it'll be a suicide, but it'll definitely be much harder for uh, Rage to initiate, especially with the Janna. Janna is there definitely to protect Lucian, and we know how dangerous Lucian can get. He's able to free hit from behind. He's got his ultimate, uh, the calling, and of course, he can use his other skills to easily kite the mem uh, members of War Gods. Of course, we see War Gods have a very heavy dive composition as well. They've got the Wukong and the Shivana who can easily jump into the back line of uh, Mido G Hub. Now, if Janna can time his monsoon properly to push away those two uh, tanky champions from War Gods away from his uh, AD carry, they should have no problem. Yes, this is a very interesting mga ibigod for team na Mido G Hub. They're trying to pre-pick Ariana para sa kanila AP mid carry champion for the team members of the Mido G Hub. This is a very effective champion for the mid lane pero against Alulu do you think he can win against Alulu champion dito in the mid lane? Well, I feel like Lulu should have the f advantage of the first two levels as long as Mido G-Hub 
uh, Orianna is able to stay away from Lulu the first few levels and not take too much harass, he should be okay. Because once he has his shield, he can protect himself from the kiting coming from the Lulu. But as the game progresses, when it comes to the mid and late game, I don't think Orianna should have any problems if he's able to farm well. It's why I began not to mention Orianna is is a my favorite pick nito si Shrax kung saan in the mid lane he can carry any game again uh, using Orianna dito sa laban nila against the members of War Gods. For the lineup, my big and War Gods rage they pick up Shivana, Wukong, uh, Lulu, Caitlyn, and Blitzcrank para sa team members of the War Gods rage. For the mid to G hub they have they have Renekton, Vi, Orianna, Lucian, and Jana as well. Looking at this kind of lineup. In the early part of the game, laning phase, who do you think will dominate dito? In the top lane, we have Shivana and Renekton. Who do you think will win? So, parang, ngayon nung ulit ako nakakita na ganitong lineup, uh, I mean ng matchup, Renekton and Shivana. It's been a while, mga kaibigan, since yung mga changes natin dito, ang dami ng champion na nagagamit sa top lane, at ngayon na natin makikita ulit si Shivana and Renekton. Well, I'd just like to point out, we're using the 4.5 patch, and Renekton got a nerf on his ultimate at the f lower levels. So, I feel like definitely, uh, Shivana may have the advantage in the, uh, the early game, but if it comes to the late game, the new scaling ability of Renekton should give him the better power to deal with the Shivana even in the later part of the game. So we will really have to see how a boat players perform in the top lane. Of course, we'll be seeing Wukong in the jungle. It'll be very interesting to see as Wukong is not an aggressive jungler at the early levels, unlike Vi, who's able to do a lot of damage yes. and do a lot of good ganks at the early levels since of uh, the crowd control Pre-level 6 actually sobra lang ang advantage tong si Jaja or itong mm -hmm. si uh, Vi having his champion dito to dominate the laning phase over the team members of the War Guns Rage and I'm thinking na before he have to before na maabot niya yung kanya level 6 hindi ganun na maagak na maayos ito si Wukong Take note mga kaibigan, Summoner's Spell of Team War Guns they have the heal for Shivana they have the heal for Caitlyn as well Heal is a very effective Summoner spell after nung patch natin dito sa 4.5 mm -hmm. Nagkaroon tayo ng buff Having na increase yung healing range niya Actually I'm really interested to see what kind of runes and masteries the both teams are using Since the 4.5 match The runes, the armor runes yes, have been reduced runes, So, so I don't know if they're still sticking with the flat armor runes Basically what they have before Or if they decided to go with the scaling yes. Scaling of course would be much more effective in the late game And as you can see both compositions are very team fight oriented both uh, Lulu is somebody who makes the team fight much more effective, especially with the Wukong and Shivana. While on the other side of Mido G-Hub, they've got the Vi and the Orianna combo, which could easily blow up uh, the carries of uh, uh, War God's Rage. Yes, gaya pinag gaya si sabi ko kanina, about the heal summoner spell of Team War God's Rage dito. They have, we have Caitlyn for having the heal spell. We have Shivana as well in the top lane. I think... Uh, Renekton kaya sa mga dominate the top lane dito having his ignite Marerudus yung heal na madadagdag dito for Shivana if ever na magamit niya yung heal niya Just in time na merong, meron siyang ignite dito mm -hmm. Saan, ito yung one, one reason kung bakit naglalagay sila ng ignite Instead of getting other summoner spells yes. sa laban nila I mean, uh, since lumabas yung barrier Mas prefer na ng mga AD carries dito ng mga champions natin na kumuha ng barrier Instead of getting the heal summoner spell Kasi nga, ang nangyayari Kapag nag-barrier ka, magkakaroon ka ng, mal ng armor dito to, sa, to survive the teamfight mm -hmm. But also, hindi siya na-reduce ng ignite dito That's right Pero itong heal, once na ma-ignite ka, nawabawasan yung heal na bibigay sa'yo ng heal mo Yes, actually, Mido G have only picking up one ignite and so on Renekton So, I think the heal pickup would be very interesting on a, a Rage Ken right now as the only, the only time he'll have problems with this heal is whenever Renekton starts to dive him at the much later part of the game. But in the early level, as you can see, there's, since there's no ignite coming from Janna or Yana or even uh, the jungler, of course, so he should have no problem with that heal. And the heal has changed to healing the nearest teammate. Yes. So Blitzcrank will effectively receive a good heal as well. Pero it's the thing that's interesting dito, having the bonus movement speed once you use the heal, I think it's around 30%. Mm -hmm. And if another second, around pati yung mga team members mo na tinamaan ng heal dito ay magkakaroon din ng movement speed. Mm -hmm. So, if ever na magkaroon ng team fight, you will use severe champion dito. If ever na you will use severe as an AD carry dito, then use that on the hunt, sabayan mo ng heal, sobrang laki ng uh, movement speed nila dito. Also, the talisman of ascension, kung saan magkakaroon sila ng movement speed dito na magiging effective during the team fight, especially sa pag-chase ng mga champion. Alright, so uh, while we're waiting for it to load, uh Looking into the late game, who do you think would be more effective team fight? I feel like uh, uh, Warga, I'm sorry, G Hub has more b b burst damage, especially in coming to the late game. 
So I feel like uh, definitely they want to go into the late game, unlike the other team, who probably want to be a little bit more aggressive at the early level. When it comes to the burst damage, I uh Gaya Sinabi mo, Mito G have the potential. Bursting down any champion from team members of War Gods HP. I mean War Gods uh rage. Ang problema dito for the team ng War Gods, they uh ang problema dito for the team na Mito G have. War Gods have Wukong, they have Shivana, they have champions that can survive the team fight dito. They also have uh, a champion na katulad ni Blitz ka na kung saan possible na mga attack dito or mag racket grab ng kahit na sinong sino champion from team members of Mito Jihab. If ever na makapaghulis, makahulis na ng kahit na sinong champion dito, I think the only way na they can survive the team fight dito ay yung support na kami from Janna. Pero eto na mga kaibigan, uh, let's start game muna tayo ngayon. Let's move on sa ating Summoner's Rift. Match between Team War Gods Rage vs Team ng Mido G have for the Season Split Summer Season Pro Gaming Series 2014. Yeah, so we're receiving a slight pause right now, and uh, yeah, so we're re receiving a slight pause right now. Probably they're just making some adjustments to their settings right now. We just have to wait for it, and as soon as they're ready, we should start on the game. Yes, ma, I begin. Let's see the lineup, ma, I begin for the mid lane Hall of Fame vs Mido G have Sharks. The only thing na I think may advantage dito in the mid lane, Lulu versus Oriana. Lulu have the full potential against your opponent dito, especially against an any mid lane champion dito for the team members of the middle Jihab. At ang magiging problema nila dito ay kung paano nila masusustain yung laning phase. Mm -hmm. Lulu versus Oriana, late game wise, even though Lulu have the, the ignite, take note mga kaibigan, merong shield si Shox dito, meron din siyang barrier. Mm -hmm. So sobrang dami ng survive, uh, survival skills niya dito kung saan kaya niya, kaya niya survive even the ganks kaya from the members of the uh, the, the war gods dito if ever na mag-initiate si Tufo or itong si uh, Wukong they can just dodge or they, he can just survive the team fight yes so mga kaibigan for the late game I think war gods have the slight advantage knowing that they have Shivana as they as the tanker dito para sa kanilang laban also yung Cyclone coming from Wukong dito kung saan kapag tumama lahat ng skills dito na maayos ng team war gods I don't think Mido Jihab can do anything para ma-counter yung uh, attack yung magagawa nila dito kasi for the team ng War Gods, it's all about the execution of skills. It's all about yung timing nila sa kung paano nila masasecure yung kanilang objective just to make sure na makakuha sila ng damage output enough to kill a chapel from the team members of Mido Jihab. Yes, alright. So Mido Jihab decided to go for a de defensive start as you can see. They are just protecting their jungle entrances at the moment. Unlike uh, War Gods, it looks like they're grouping up here in the bottom lane. We see Shivana all alone in the top lane, riding, uh, protecting their own jungle. But uh, the four members of War Gods are grouped up here. Maybe they're expecting an early invade from Mido G Hub, and they're prepared for it right now. Yes, my base for the bottom lane. Gaya na pinag-usapan natin kanina, Caitlyn and Blitzcrank vs. Lucian and Janna. I think in the early game, possible na may advantage dito ang team ng War Gods Rage since meron silang racket grab. They can easily burst it down any champion from the members of Mido G Hub. They don't have any skills dito. For example, yung shield coming from from Majana. Well, that's a very effective skill for his champion. Pero ang problema dito, kapag kung sino yung nahatak na champion dito na hindi na magagamit na ng shield, sigurado mamatay ka agad. Both the champion in the bottom lane from Team Mido G Hub, they have Lucia na meron pang dash out if ever na siya yung mahatak from the members of the War Gods Rage dito. But they also have the the shield or the psych or the the first skill of uh, Jana dito na kung saan kaya nila yung survive yung mga team fight na mangyayari using that knock-up damage. That's right. Alright, so it looks like Wukong will be starting in his red buff. You can see here the support and AD carry helping him pick it up. Of course, uh, Mido G have doing the save but this time uh, Vi is starting on his blue buff. So it's gonna be not a mere uh, jungle route but actually they're gonna be follow being on the same side of the map at the same time. So we'll probably see an early uh, gank in the top lane or possibly the mid lane. Once the junglers clear both their double buffs. Yes, mga kaibigan. Let's see yung ating lifesteal. So far for Team Mido G have King Zone having a 2% lifesteal for his champion. And for Katyn having a 3% lifesteal for his champion. So this most probably uh, runes na meron siyang 2 lifesteal quints. Yes, while sa Lucian champion. has only 1. Lucian have only 1, mga kaibigan. Napangit na bang hook! Kaya mo members of Wargas DG to their chasing 1 champion. Pero dahil napangit na team coordination dito for me ng Wargas DG. Just in time, you have to use that rocket grab also the trap coming from their, their team. Almost enough to kill a champion dito. That's right. Alright, so it looks like uh, uh, Rankin is winning the top lane. You can see the life. It looks like uh, 
Yeah, now going down to left of them, almost 200 HP right now, using his uh, shield to protect Lucian here. Looks like uh, B2G has bottom lane, should be safe for the meantime, but uh, one more grab coming from this guy, especially on the Janna, would mean certain death for him. When you are against a champion like si Janna, when you are using Janna as a champion dito, pinaka mahirap na decision ay kung sino yung gagamitan mo ng shield. Even though mahatok yung champion mo, or yung, hat, yung uh, AD carry mo dito, possible naman ay ikaw ang full force ng team members nung kalaban mo. So ang mangyayari dito, sobrang dilemma ka who uh, you will try to uh, use that shit. Makaibigin ng top lane, nagkaroon ng gang dito, nahuli nila, HP Tuvo goes down, at hinahabon nila ngayon sila in the top lane. One more champion for their team, para magkaroon sila ng advantage, and yes, the first blood goes to team ng War Gods. Yeah, so just like I predicted the while ago, I mean team ago, ng uh, Mito G, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so just like I predicted the while ago, both jumpers met in the top lane, but it looks like Pukong got caught, and first blood went to uh, buy, of course, through the ticks on the red buff here. And uh, looks like he's gonna have an extended double buff in the jungle. So Wukong has to be a little bit more careful, especially yes. since we know he's a weaker jungler in the team fights at the early levels. Until he gets his, his level 6 to get his Cyclone, he really can't provide much card control. Right, so here in the bottom lane, looking at the CS right now, Caitlyn of course taking advantage of her range over uh, Lucian here and picking up a slight CS advantage. Of course, Lucian should be able to clear the large minion wave to push towards the tower. Uh, of course, here Shivana has to be a little bit careful with Renekton. Has a slight advantage. He has some uh, first fury right now, which gives him yes. empowered skills at the moment. Actually, in the top lane, I think I would give the early game for this guy Sugoi or this guy uh, Renekton as his champion, knowing that he have the sustain. At this is the most difficult na kalab sa top lane. Ang any, any champion na may sustain, maabig na ngari pang boy nila dito. Lial, he have this at dash out as well. At the dash na maabig is Tyson Tyson from Sugoi dito to give the one champion na top lane and yes. Successfully killed uh, a lion in the top lane, and I am thinking that medyo naging nagkaroon na miscalculation for Lyle dito in the top lane. Yes, I think that's a little bit clear that she knew uh, that uh, Renekton could do a lot of burst damage with his slice and dice, and of course, his two other skills. Although the ignite was down, it was more than enough. Is it like mga big in the bottom lane? He'll have a si rage. Uh, Rav in the bottom lane, napagad na pag initiation. Uh, pag initiate for the team members of B2 G Hub, pero that vault breaker missed out for G Hub J Jaja dito in the bottom lane. And I think ang naging problema lang doon ay hindi umabot yung uh, Vault Breaker Also with the flash out coming from Blitzkrank in the bottom lane Yes, good uh, timing coming from Blitzkrank there He actually followed up with the hook but it did not connect with Vi I'm sure if he did connect that It would be quite possible that Rage can might have picked up the double buff away from it And that would definitely give the bottom lane a lot of problems So right now, it's back to uh, well, farming minions It seems that it's pretty quiet here in the bottom lane uh, uh, Caitlyn though, still with the minion advantage right now, about 5 CS advantage in his favor. Napagad na naman mga kaibigan, Rocket Gap from the members of Rage dito, ginamit ang shield for, uh, for Kinsun in the bottom lane. They're taking so much damage, half-life na mga kaibigan. Si Kinsun in, uh, in the top lane, level is in Suko in the top lane as, uh, as well mga kaibigan against kay Lyle. And if ever na magkaroon dito na sa bahay in the top lane, knowing na meron na siyang uh, S dito for his champion, I think mahirapan dito si uh, Lyle to uh, sustain his uh, ability in the top lane. Yes, alright, so there will be a slight pause right now. Shivana has to be a little bit careful since uh, Renekton is already hitting level 6 and uh, if he uses his ultimate, definitely he should be able to burst down Shivana without the, her ultimate yet. Looks like the first pickup coming from the Shivana is the chain vest to give her a little bit more armor while Renekton definitely going for the very aggressive build. Probably gonna pick up a Chamat really early and continue pushing really hard at the top lane. Bayola mga kaibigan, in the bottom lane, very effective skills, uh, using that skills for Kidzone para sa kanyang AD care dito kung saan sobrang nahihirapan na makakuha ng champion dito ang team ng Rage. Uh, even though they have the advantage against their opponent, ang nagiging problema lamang dito sa laban nila in the bottom lane ay yung shield na ginagawa nitong si Bayola para kay Kidzone to uh, make sure na masustain nila yung bottom lane, get the CS, get the kills at uh, magkaroon sila ng advantage sa laban na to. This is mga kaibigan, ang kapitan, ginamit na kayo ni Sugoy ang kanyang Dominus at nagkaroon tayo ng post-game and I think nagkaroon na naman tayo ng some technical difficulties sa kanilang mga connection dito but uh, do you think Lyle will go down dito sa top lane against kay Sugoy? Let's see, uh, Rank is Ignite is still a few seconds away from coming out probably if he can stick to Lyle long enough before his Ignite to come out he should have, she should be able to pick up Lyle without any problem since Lyle has not reached level 6 but if Lyle is able to escape, he does not have his flash or heal. It may be hard for Lyle to get away from Sugoi here. So, 
my guess is there's a high chance Sugoi might be able to pick up this kill. And right. uh, not to mention, mga kaibigan, wala pang dragon form dito si Lyle yes, in the top lane. Right. And that is a very a big difference from both a champion in the top lane. And I'm thinking na malaki talaga yung bagay na nagkaroon dito ng first blood team members of Mido Jihab mm -hmm. na nagawa nila kanina against sa War God's Reach. Yes. Actually, th this is the first time I've seen ranked on the 4.5. 4.5 patch uh, on Domish. You can see the HP he gained from it is not is really significantly a lot smaller compared from before. Yes, this is it, ma. I mean, he has only the Sugoi to die. Top lane, he's not even touching the dice. Wargus that can't do anything. Wala siyang flash out. Wala siyang kill last win. And the last hit coming from that first kill from Sugoi, he finally pick up another kill in the top lane. Dito, they have the advantage. Almost enough, ma. I mean, from Raf dito, getting the. Champion from the members of uh, War Amido Jihab at Edwin without that rocket grab mga kaibigan they're taking advantage dito sa laban in the bottom lane and uh medyo risky yung ginagawa dito ng Amido Jihab sobrang aggressive nila even though kalahati nila mga buhay dito ni Rio Kinzon yes still umaasa sila ng sobra sa shield na manggagaling kay Janna that's right and actually Janna went for the door shield in this match so in effect, the bit gang should be uh, making a lot more gold compared to Jana. So we'll have to see in the mid lane. Mido G hubs bottom lane definitely to pick up some kills so that Jana could have some yes. assist. If not, she will definitely she will definitely fall behind in terms of uh, power in the mid to late game. Now, really, Jay, if you are going against a champion like Blitzcrack, a champion like Citresh, you have to make sure na mayro on dollar shield dito. So. If everyone ay go yung magamit ng rocket grab dito, mahuli na death sentence, you can at least disengage or masurvive mo yung mangyayaring damage output. Right. Especially yung damage na uh, mabablock mo dito ay champ, uh, champion basic attack damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, going into the game again, ah! Mido G have Jaja on by has one kill already, clearing out his red buff, he's already hit level 6, and it will just be a matter of time before he uses his uh, assault and battery probably, as you can see here, he's camping the mid lane. Trying to make something happen here in the mid lane, but since both mid laners are playing pretty passive here, as you can see here, the CS advantage is on Oriana's side. A while ago, it was pretty even, but yes. looks like Oriana has already hit his very, level 6 I, I mentioned. Think actually, for, uh, for Shox the mid lane, this is a very interesting big, uh, build for his champion, mga kaibigan. Nga rin ang boy ni Hall of Fame dito, ginamit ang vault, a vault breaker from Jaja. One more skill, mga kaibigan, with that assault and battery, they finally pick up another game in the mid lane dito. Very good job, Team Mido Jihab. Just in time, na huli nila ang buhay dito in his Hall of Fame in the mid lane. And gaya na sinasabi ko kanina, very interesting item choice for Shaq dito, getting this item Spirit Stone. And I'm thinking na there's a high possibility na kumuha siya ng kanyang Spirit of the, uh, Spectral Rate for his item dito sa laban nila against Team Members of War Gods Rage. Yes. Alright, so I feel like uh, Mido Jihab Jaja is playing very smart there, playing very patiently, waiting for Lulu to come to the fight. one champion, mga kaibigan, for just in time to Monsoon, uh, disengage the members of War Gods Rage in the bottom lane, and alam mo, so far ngayon, ah, sa mga nakita lang natin ganyan sa bottom lane, three, I mean, five, siguro three out of five hooks ay tumama lagi dito for uh, Raph in the bottom lane, and that will give you an advantage mga kaibigan ng top lane ang halimang buhay ni Lyle dito nakuha na ang first year student Wargat Su I mean Sukoy have this that Dominus as well flash out from Wargat dahil ginamit ang kanyang Dragon 4 para mga mag-disengage one more hit pero hindi enough ang Crocodile to chase down a Dragon eto na mga kaibigan ng bottom lane ginamit ang Rocket Grab Rage have to disengage as well in the bottom lane and I think I'm thinking na as much as possible Tufo is trying trying his best para makuha ng champion dito in the bottom lane Pero yes. nahihirapan sila. Alright, so good uh, plays from uh, G-Hub there, avoiding that, that hook uh, coming from this crank. Of course, uh, a while ago, G-Hub Sugoi was very aggressive with Shivana. Since Shivana was already le past level 6, he was able to use his dragon form to escape the initiation coming from G-Hub. The ignited took down and was just not enough for him to pick up the kill. So Lion gets away with that and pick up a few more items. Uh, he just picked up a boot. He's probably waiting for a giant belt before uh, spending his gold. So. Just going back to farm up some more minions. Ito mga na sa recent patch natin mga kaibigan. Hindi ganun kadaling kumuha ng solo dragon sa laban na to. You have to make sure na buo ka yung lima para makuha ng successful dragon sa laban na to. And they're trying to get the first dragon mga kaibigan. Tubo trying to wait his chance mga kaibigan. Pero nakuha pa rin dito ng Wadi Mimito Jihab ang first dragon of this game. Wagon's happy. I mean Tubo have to use that 
Cyclone the Swift. Rough now. Ready for your body. One more hit. And yes, they pick up another kill. One champion. Two champion goes down from team members of Wargate. Rage Dito, Sukoy being attacked champion, dinamit na kayo ni Kinzo ng kanyang SS They're chasing down two members of team Morgan Dito and yes, a sudden body has been popped out And yes, one champion mga kaibigan in exchange of four champions from team members of Wargat Rage Dito It's a four one exchange in favor of team na Mito Jihab That's right, and I feel like uh, Mito Jihab will probably follow up with the towers You can see they're four man strong here This should be no problem Right now, Light is uh, in the top lane trying to push the top Third, I feel like Wargod's uh, War Rage overcommitted to the Dragon. Destroyed. They should have uh, not tried to uh, contest it that way, especially since they were lacking one member. It actually is a bad advantage here in Renek Torn against his opponent here, si, si Lyle yeah. in the top lane. Even though Lyle is trying his best to get the first turn in the top lane, the big exchange of exchange. Na to. They got the Dragon, they also got the four champions here in the bottom lane. And it's for one Her champion only for the members of Mito Jihab. So, very big difference here that we have against uh, I mean, the top lane and here we have Renekton and Shibana. That's right. So right now, there's about a 4k, 4.5k gold speed advantage for uh, Bido G-Hub. This is actually a very big advantage. It's only been 12 minutes into the team, the Dragon and those two spirits that they picked up so far, including the Kiss. Yes. The Hall of Fame is going on, my bigger from Mito G-Hub here. He's being chased down. He's going to be soon, but I think... Almost enough, mga kaibigan, para makapag-disengage sana siya, pero Mito Jihab didn't, uh, I mean, Shox didn't waste his time para makuha isang champion dito sa laban nila. And yeah. I think, that monsoon, almost enough, mga kaibigan, para ma ma masayang yung gank na yun. Pero, very good job for team na Mito Jihab sa laban. Okay, so, looks like Shuko is still pulling out light here. You see here, he can't seem to go head-to-head -head with the ranked on at the moment right now. They have the same item, of course, but with the advantage of uh, Renkton picking up that Tiamat uh, is definitely going to allow him to bully Shivana for the rest of the game and still be able to pick up a few more items. Yes, so far, Ma, I began Wargats finally pick up the first tier children in the bottom lane. So 2 3, Ma, I began an exchange challenge and I think destroyed. But uh, Lyle still trying his best para ma uh, enough form in the top lane. Alright, so it looks like Lyle will be going back to the Renkton. Uh, Miho, Mido G Hub, Jaja again picking up his red buff. Looks like he will be holding on to that for most of the game. As he's so far doing a pretty good job with one kill and three assists here. Oriana, of course, with the most kills on Mido G Hub's team right now. With four kills and one assist. Oops, nice to fight there. And just in time, Mido G Hub shows the beat and trying to save himself. But right now, he's not going to be able to take so much damage. A sword in Padre is not going to be able to take so much damage. Si Raf dito, but still with a red buff mga kaibigan from Jaja Dinamit niya ngayon ang kanyang Volt Breaker Cyclone has been popped up mga kaibigan Two boss been, is being chased down by the members of Mito Jihab One more hit mga kaibigan na ang ating buhay ng dalawang members of Mito Jihab dito Exhausted, two boss about to go down and yes he goes down mga kaibigan Ignited mga kaibigan, shot down na ngayon si Shax in the mid lane Hall of Fame against two champions of team Mito Jihab Two for two exchange na ito mga kaibigan, Lyle finally pick up another kill they're still chasing down Ulail dito. Mga kaibigan, Raph trying to use that recall para mapag makauwi sa kanilang base. And yes, it's a 2 for 2 exchange. And I'm thinking na hindi ganun kalaki yung difference na nangyari dito since pareho sila nakakuha ng dalawang champions sa laban. That's right. That was a very messy team fight, a very extended team fight as, as well as you can see there. Do you think there was no wards uh, at that area and Raph Trap was able to, uh, like you said, recall back to base without any problems. There was also a large minion wave coming from Wargod's Rage in the bottom lane, forcing uh, of course Lucian to go there and pick up a lot more CS here. But of course, Kaden is still in the advantage in terms of the CS count right now. And in terms of items, they're pretty much even. Although Lucian has completed his boot, uh, Kaden still has uh, to go back to base to, to finish that off. Yes, ma, I begin. Ginamit ang shock sa kanya. Shock in the meeting. Hall of Fame goes down. He was ignited. Shock being chased down. Pero na palitan nito ng laban nato. Rap. One more hit from the members of uh, Mito GM and yes, they, uh, they successfully killed down the champion Dito, Monsoon just in time para mas shove back si Tufo in the mid lane and heal Shaxx as well It's a 1 for an exchange, it's a 2 for an exchange in favor of team na Mito Jihab That's right. score natin ngayon ay 313 na Looks like nakabawi na si Janna a while ago he made a mistake with his Monsoon but this time around he was able to use it effectively to save the life of a Mito Jihab Shaxx there with the heal and shield coming out protecting him from the burst damage coming from 
Wukong. Wukong also had a nerf on his uh, crushing blow, and because of that, I feel like that's probably the reason why he yes. survived. Uh, Rihanna survived that uh, the burst damage Chaka, coming from Wukong. It's all one reason why they're not going to be able to Wukong doesn't have enough damage output or yung damage AD base damage na dito. Against Rihanna, Rihanna have the shield. They have the buyer as well. They got it again, but. Uh, I am thinking na medyo talagang nahirapan na sobra dito si Wukong mag-secure na kanyang juggling route mga kabilid ginabot nila kayo si Hall of Fame dito pag nagamit dito ni Bayola kanyang slow yes he was slowed and ginamit na kayo ng shockwave pero hindi umabot for Hall of Fame dito ginamit na kanyang wild growth and they successfully disengaged in the mid lane against the members of Vito Jihab alright so looks like Oriana will be picking up those minions in the mid lane here Janna spotting out a, pi uh, a, a white here. A uh, hook coming from Biscuit, not connecting with Janna. Janna will be able to move away safely there. Looks like the dragon will be spawning in a few seconds, down to three seconds right now, and they will attempt to do it again. Wargas this time will be four man strong once again, but Lulu is not far behind. I expect another team fight to happen here. Or Yana gonna go ahead and pick up the raid in his jungle. Of course, he needs to stack up those uh, minions in the jungle so that his. Uh, Spirit of the Spectral Raid will be uh, maxed out right away. Yes, my vegan Wargaz Rage trying to get the second dragon of this game. And if ever na magsaksos nila sa pagkuha ng uh, second dragon na to, they have this light advantage. I mean, yung pagbawi sa kanilang uh, gold keeper dito mga vegan. And yes, they got the first second dragon mga vegan. They're, they're, they're chasing down team members of Wargaz. And one champion goes down. At surut-surut na ito mga vegan. It's two for the exchange na. Double kill for Shocks in the mid lane. Ginamit ang kanyang ace in the hole. Hall of Fame na iwan dito. Wala siyang flash out. He can't do anything. Even the wild growth. He's trying his best to kill the one champion mga kaibigan. At least in exchange of that for champion. Pero hindi umabot. That's right. So two members of Midoji have going down very low. We'll be going back to base. Uh, Ken here now being chased here Ito by... Ito na mga kaibigan for the ace. One more hit. He have to use the flash out. Kinson is unstoppable in this fight. Alright, so it's now a 7.6 gold advantage for Mido G-Hub. This is a really huge advantage once again. In the 18 minute mark, I feel like Mido G-Hub practically have this game in the bag unless Wargaz could play an uh, excellent team fight and ace Mido G-Hub and pick up some objectives, objectives for themselves. Alright, so right now we can see here that uh, Bai will probably donate his blue buff over the shop in a few minutes here. Three members of uh, Team Wargaz Rage here facing off with uh, G uh, Mido Jihab Shocks right now. No problem for Shocks here. Now, uh, looks like they will pick up the blue buff like I mentioned a while ago. And Janna is going to be there to protect them from any invades. Alright, blue buff going over to Shocks right now. In terms of towers right now, you can see here that Mido Jihab definitely has the advantage since they were able to really take out the middle third of Wargaz here. The advantage there's a map control is slightly in favor for uh, Mido Jihab, but as long as uh, Ray can avoid uh, Mido Jihab from pushing any more towers, they should be able to hold on to this game. Shocks, my vegan. One more hit for Ra for Rav in the mid lane. They were one standing alone, boy. Dito, but Hall of Fame using that shield almost enough, my vegan. He saved uh, Rav from that uh, clash in the mid lane. Dito, alam mo, Hall of Fame with this score one six zero. Hirap na hirap siyang lumabot against the Shaq of Vayne. This is most probably the most ineffective way of uh, trying to defeat an Oriana in the mid lane. Lulu against Oriana. Oriana have the advantage. Sobrang laki ng advantage niya. Kahit na mabigyan niya ng poke damage itong si Oriana, I don't think that is enough para manalo siya sa lane yung face nila dito in the mid lane. Yeah, and I feel like Wargaz lineup Kinda lack CC because both Shivana and Wukong don't really provide any CC except for the knockup of Wukong's uh, Cyclone. Other than that, at the backline, if they try to change the AD carry, they don't have any way to slow him down or stop, stop him. Unlike Mido Jihab, Renekton has a stun, including Vi has two crowd control abilities that can easily burst down Kitin or Lulu. Napagad ang hugong mga kaibigan pero nagkamali siya doon dahil si Sukhoi Shock Wave got 4 champions from the members of Wargaz Rage dito Assault and Battery 1 champion goes down 3 for an exchange na ito sobrang ganda palitan Ace in the hole dinamit na ngayon ang kanyang Vault Breaker para malitas ang isang champion dito and they successfully kill down 3 champion and yung kita kita mo yung napagad ang pag Shock Wave dito from Shock in the mid lane 4 champion got caught yeah, and Lucian was even there, so 4v5 there, so that hook was definitely a wrong hook, especially pulling yeah, out the strongest tank 
in the team of uh, Middle G Hub right now. Looks like Middle G Hub might be able to end the game if they're able to uh, execute this, uh, this team fight properly. As you can see, one by one, they're able to take out the members of Team Rage. Kaden going down already. Both Light, Lion and uh, Turbo aren't really that tanky yet to survive the damage here. Middle G Hub too going being a little bit aggressive here. Going 1 versus 4 here. Sukoi against 3 champions of Team Mark has reached. And they can't do anything about it. Ginamit na ngayon. Nikin sa kanya SS as well. One more champion. One more hit mga kaibigan. Tung hit another champion. Naiwan dito si Light. He's trying to get the life of Shark dito. With that shield. Four Shark. With the red buff and the blue buff as well. He was safe by himself. Pero ito na mga kaibigan. 326 na ating score. Ang ating goal difference. Ay di na maabot. Maabot ng team members of Vargas Rage dito. Yeah, so just like Middle G have practically have this game in the bag, all they have to do is probably go back to base, pick up a few more items. I feel like they may even go for a Baron attempt. They should have no problem dealing with a Wargaz if ever they do attempt to uh, challenge the Baron. Here we see Middle G have picking up another third with all the damage coming from both members of Middle G have. You can see here that they should have no problem taking the tower for themselves. Alright, so it looks like they shall be going back here to the five members of. Uh, or Rage right now are keeping up here in the bottom lane. Oriana clearing out the minions in the top lane while uh, Bishkan trying to put down some wards to try to make some plays for Wargas at the moment. Among all these scoring here, I 326. And uh, looking at the score, mga kaibigan, kita kita natin ngayon ang ating goal difference ay uh, in favor of the team na Mito Jihab. 2-6 ang ating turret destroyed dito in favor of the team members of the Mito Jihab. So far, 1-1 one, one ang ating Dragon score. Wala pong makakuha ng ating 3rd Dragon. 50 seconds left. Dog mabuhay ang ating 3rd Dragon sa laban na to. And actually, at this point of time, uh, for the mid lane, 180 itong si uh, Lulu or Hall of Fame against Kimito G of Shocks. And I think it's a very effective item getting that uh, Spirit of the Spectral rate. Not only na mabilis mo clear dito yung wave, yung mga rates dito, or yung uh, farm niya dito sa lugar na to, but also yung bonus gold na makukuha niya kapag nakuha niya yung malaki-laking minion dito That's right, so I'm surprised that uh, Mido Jihab is not yet ending this game They're definitely more than strong enough to take out uh, Team Rage right now Looks like they'll continue to farm here They're gonna pick up the dragon once again The dragon will be spawning in about 5 seconds from now They should be able to take this out really quickly and probably transition to a Baron right afterwards Is it my biggest third dragon in this game? Mido Jihab trying to uh, set his dragon and no one from Team Wargas Rage will uh, try to contest this dragon. But no! What's going on here? Kay Rage! Ken using that caliber net to do a suicide. Yeah, I think it's a suicide. This, that was probably a suicide. No, he wanted to take the dragon. Uh, uh, unless he wants to stay here. That's mine. There's no I vision. Doubt. There's no vision. So probably thinking, probably there's no one there. I'll go ahead and take dragon for my team without. I, I wanna try. I wanna try. <laughs> I wanna see kung mayroong dragon dito. I want to, to, to take a dragon alone. But uh, he was surprised having those three champions try to get that dragon and just in time, na kung boy at dito. Yeah. All right. So it looks like uh, Little G have has picked up the barn book as well. They're really too strong for uh, Wargas to stop right now. I don't think uh, Team Wargas Rage will be able to do anything about this. Although Mido Jihab playing it really safe right now, they're gonna go ahead and try to clear out more turrets here in the game. Trying to extend their gold lead even more, even though it's really incredibly large at this point in the game. Only 24 minutes in, the gold lead is about 17k in favor of uh, Mido Jihab here. And this is why we get Mido Jihab trying to force push down the second third turret in the top lane. And as much as possible, they're trying to end this game now. Ah, God. Against the members of Wargan's Rage. Looking at the goal difference, na parang ang ating goal difference, you can't do anything about it mga kaibigan. Tinamal ang nakikin grab dito si Gajaja, pero nakapag-recall na si Wukong, at hindi siya nakapag-respond na siya nangyari ngayon. That's right. Alright, so, Mido Jihab just waiting for their minions again to push in the top lane. If I were them, I should probably, we should probably just go mid and Wow, mga kaibigan, that burst damage from Shaq the mid lane dito. Sobra isang combo ay lang talaga. Two champion goes down, napalaki ng damage output niya, having that item. One more champion mga kaibigan, I think it's a triple kill for his champion If ever na makuha niya po ni Raph dito But Kinson got the champion One champion, Assault Breaker with that Dragon form Direkta sa base mga kaibigan <laughs> yes. Ang nangyari dito kay Jaja in the mid lane Karaming damage up from Oriana And let's see yung kanyang stats sa champion dito mga kaibigan Kanyang magic penetration 823 and 29% of his damage output 
Yes, so basically uh, 8 from his runes and then another seven, uh, 15 from his uh, from his boots and then of course he got... Uh, Can you imagine ma, I began 250 now. plus 471 damage ang kanyang kumahit, yung kanyang second thing dito and umuulo ang kanyang build power is 673. That's right, alright so looks like you have shoot the A's in this game right now. They really did, they just recently the, the destroyed the inhibitor of uh, Wargat here in the mid lane and as the minions come to the industry, they have no problem. Me and Jihab Chuck really being so powerful. Even his shield is so big right now. This right. is my IB again. It's about time to end this game. And Mito Jihab got their first game. win against him in War Gods Rage for the tiebreaker match of War Gods, I mean, of Summer Season split ng ating Pro Gaming Series. My IB yes. again, looking at the match stats, all of, I mean, War Gods Rage versus team Mito Jihab. Who do you think dominated this team, this the, the team fight or the laning phase, Palama? Actually, I, I have to give it to Mido Jihab all throughout the game. From the laning phase all the way to the team fight, they played it much better. Wargat did have an attempt of doing a nice team fight in the uh, dragon pit, uh, but he was a little bit uncoordinated when they were trying to steal the dragon, and because of that, they lost that team fight. And at the end, of course, Mido Jihab just steamrolled them through the rest of the game. Yes. I would, uh, I think I'm thinking that it's hard to sa the team of Wargat's Rage is their pick. Champion pick, so brand lang disadvantage nila dito. Even though they have Lulu in the big lane, they have Wukong in the jungle, we have Shivan for the top lane dito. That gives them disadvantage. Actually, in the top lane, so brand na outlay dito si Lyle against Kaisugoy. And having that kind of item, actually, uh, hindi siya nag-focus sa kanyang pagiging tankiness. He goes for the damage output against your opponent dito. Actually, Wargas Rage has very strong laning faces in all four lanes, uh, all three lanes, the top, the mid, and bottom. But like we said a while ago, Wukong isn't really very strong in the uh, yes, in, at the like jungle pre-6. And because uh, Jaja was there at the right time all the time to help the lane. So, but actually, para na pasiko dito na babasa ni Jaja yung galaw dito ni Wukong. Kung saan, yes. every time na magkakaroon ng gank si Wukong, or itong si, uh, si Tufo, nandun si Jaja to counter that gank. Or if not, he knows that wala si Wukong dun at excellent yung papasok niya dun sa gank na yes. gagawin niya. So, and yes, my I began. You're watching the Pro Gaming Series 2014 tiebreaker match of Team Wargas Rage versus Team Namido Jihab para sa ating North Luzon area slot for the season speed of Pro Gaming Series. We'll be right back, so. my I began after a few minute break. Stay tuned na kayo dyan. Meron tayong second game. Best of three match po ito ng Jihab at ng Wargas Rage. I'm Gigi Sphere. And I'm Jay. Ito tayo sa ulit, mga may alamang.